Hey, what's going on guys? It's KC Boy here and in today's video, I want to show you how to deal with dynamic JSON response in uh, Spring Boot. So imagine a scenario when you fetch an API like this and the results will not be the same like this time is string and this time is number. So how you deal with them is Spring Boot. So I'm going to show you in this video. Now in the IntelliJ IDE, I got this dynamic JSON response and I'm going to fetch the API that I just show you. But first, I'm going to create a method called uh, request and it's going to return an object. Now, uh, I'm going to use web client to fetch the API equals uh, client equal web client dot create. Right. Now let uh, make a get request. First, I'm going to catch this error. All right. Uh, so the response got the response here equal uh, client dot get and I think it will be a string right and the URL URI of the request is gonna be here so copy it paste it here and then it will uh, accept the media type web uh, application JSON and retrieve and the body to mono and we string dot class and finally to block All right now let's create a JSON object using uh, object mapper object mapper I'm gonna call it mapper equal new object mapper now let's convert it to a map uh, with the key is string and value is object and I'm going to call it map right equal mapper we just created and we read the value uh, res response we just got from the, the API and map.class uh, now remember the response of the API will be either string or a number so we need to check the type of it and I already prepare uh, the two class here text with the results is string and number with the result is the integer so now we need to check so if uh, map dot contain the key of results and map uh, the type of the results is uh, instance of string so we create string a text object press equal new text and uh, we set the response to the value of this uh, the map the value of the key results so map dot get Results and we need to cast it to string because we know it's, it's going to be string. All right, now we can return the response. Oops, I, uh... all right. Similarly, we can do this again with the result has type of integer. All right, so instead of creating text, we're creating number object. Number and here is the integer. All right. If either of the condition happens, we just return no. The catch block we just return no. So now let's give it a test. So uh, annotation test and the method test just print out the results of the request. So Right, let's run it. All 
right? So this time, the text is a string, so you uh, run into this. And next time, I expect it to be uh, the integer result. So let's do it. All right, so it run into this uh, condition. So there you go. Uh, that's uh, it for the video.